the event has certainly tested Gibraltar, with officials having less than a week to prepare for the biggest match the Rock has ever hosted. From a security perspective, additional uniformed police officers have been on patrol, with the RGP working closely with representatives of both football clubs and their counterparts in Scotland to ensure a smooth-running event. Thousands of visiting fans were initially expected, but numbers were much more conservative. Well, the first concern is safety. Um, we need to ensure that, that, that the event runs uh, safely for all, all, all participants. Although, all things we said, the, the safety of the actual event is the responsibility of the organisers, which in this case are Lincoln Football Club. But we are obviously there to support them and ensure that there are no breaches of the peace and, uh, and, and help out with any issue that may arise in that respect. There are, of course, other issues, as you say, in terms of overspilled people who may not have tickets, wanting to watch the match in town or travelling travelling into Gibraltar uh, exactly for that purpose. And in fact, it was a concern originally because we were advised by, by Celtic that it was a strong possibility that we'd have uh, a few thousand uh, coming over to watch the match. In the end, it doesn't seem to have transpired, uh, primarily we think because uh, the, just once a, the availability of flights this time of year wasn't, was, uh, and it wasn't possible for them to come over at such notice. We talk about increased resources, so what are we referring to exactly? Well, I wouldn't like to go into exact numbers, but we've um, certainly got around 50 RGP officers. We've also got some support available from GDP should we require it later on in the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a bit of, bit of disruption for all of us. We all have uh, our day-to-day -day roles to, to, um, to undertake. So something of this nature is a big disruption for the force. We, we've got most of our special duty personnel, CID for example, drug squad, all those teams have had to be drafted in to support the policing operation today. So it does create a lot of disruption for the force. At the end of the day, a qualifying round match. So perhaps an oversight that visiting fans were expected in their thousands and this hasn't actually materialised? Well, I, I, I wouldn't say so. I mean, it's something that, that the Celtic uh, told us. I think they they are guided by previous experience. But having said that, maybe the, the, the both the combination of the, the time of year and the shortness, uh, the limited time period between the, 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 the Lincoln winning the game last week and this fixture, the two fixtures, has, has meant that they weren't able, there was just simply wasn't the availability for, for them to fly over in the time, uh, in the time scale that we're discussing. Celtic Football Club has been established since the late 1800s and its fan base is committed. We were able to catch up with some of the visitors to find out their impressions of the rock and predictions for the match. It's absolutely outstanding, great atmosphere, lovely weather, lovely people, really friendly. What more can I say? Very nice place, the sunshine, it's nice sitting down by the boats. We can take photos and send it back to my friends, yeah. Well, it's first time being here and it's very good so far, yeah, it's excellent, excellent. Just sell like fans sitting in Costa del Sol, travel down for the game and back up, that's it. I think Celtic should win comfortably, but who knows, no, they will, 3-0. 5 now Celtic. Not to break your broken hearts, but I've got to find a Celtic to get the result, you know. I do appreciate that it's hot, but we've been in Slovenia for the pre-season training camp and it's been 30 degrees, so I think the players, provided we rest Armstrong, who's also ginger like myself, but bar him, we'll make sure that the players are on form. I know the score, it's going to be 3-0. For the Lincoln fans, certainly a historic day and an event many were looking forward to. It means a lot to me. Um, it's the first time we've had a massive game at club level uh, in Gibraltar. And um, as you can see, it's a really special occasion. Uh, it means a lot to everyone. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great day for Lincoln themselves, Gibraltar football and Gibraltar as a nation. And although an extra 460 tickets were today released, these were not sold out. Although there was a good response, with 100 tickets purchased in the first 20 minutes. From an organisational point of view, Lincoln says it's been a learning experience, with the team aiming to deliver the most professional experience possible.